All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how to delete your old, unused media cache files to clean up the unused ones on your computer so that they don't take up extra space and fill up your hard drive. Now, we're going to be doing this on Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 and editions newer than that on PC. So the first thing you need to do is go to Edit and then go down to the bottom under Preferences, and then find the button in the pop-out menu that says Media Cache. This will pop up your Preferences window where you can literally scroll through all the different settings for Premiere and tweak them if you want. And in here in the Media Cache section is all of your Media Cache file settings. You've got the location, you can click on this in order to open that window and manually delete files. You can change the location of both your media cache and the media cache database through these two buttons. And then you can also delete them right here. And then I'm pretty sure most of these other settings are, are self-explanatory. How often do you want this to automatically delete things? And so on and so forth. But the main button that we want is this delete button right here, which will pop open a window that gives us one of two options. If we have a project file open, which I do right now, it'll give you the option to delete only the unused media cache files, which is very handy because it just cleans out the ones you're obviously not using or loading into this project, so they're not taking up extra space. Alternatively, if you need to do a clean sweep, don't open a project, just open Premiere, and before you select or create one, open this settings tab back up, and then this option down here will become available to delete all of your cache files from your system. So why would you need to do that? Well, when Premiere imports footage into your project in order to use it and edit it, in order to make sure it plays back faster and doesn't lag or stutter, it makes a smaller copy of it that is both smaller in file size and in quality so that it doesn't lag when it plays it in your preview window. But obviously when you're constantly making duplicates of every single video clip that you import into this program, that's gonna very quickly take up a lot of space on your system. So it's good to clean that out so you don't run out of hard drive space, which is very common amongst first time video editors. It happened to a lot of my classmates back in college. So just be aware of that, clean this out occasionally, set it up to only keep them after you know 90 days and then delete them. That way they don't bog down your system. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is sometimes these get corrupted and they can be a source of lag, stuttering, and crashing for Premiere, so that's another reason to know where the media cache is located in case you have to manually delete those files to make sure that Premiere's not broken or something else isn't wrong. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you clear your media cache files in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 edition. It's Almost completely the same for both Mac and PC for as far as the interface is concerned. The preference button is just in a different spot sometimes. But that option to delete them through the interface of Premiere is still available for both systems. So I hope you found that useful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.